Good morning, my dear students. Uh, I just want to tell you today in morning, I have shared one of the listing tasks in your WhatsApp English group. Okay. So for that, you sit aloof for 10 minutes, listen to that recording very, very carefully, and then attempt that listing task in Google form. It is sent to you in form in Google form and write down your name, class and roll number very, very carefully in Google form. On the basis of that test, you'll be getting five marks. It is a part of your internal assessment and these marks are going to be added in your final exam. And one thing more I want to tell you, don't be over smart. It doesn't mean that if you attempt test from any of a mobile of your, you can say family member, and you are not able to score good marks and then you are going to attempt again from another mobile. So don't be smart because all the things are being recorded in Google form automatically Excel sheet is generated. So if you attempt this test two times or three times, this record will be very much clear in front of me only by single clicking. So the students who will be attempting that test one, two, once, twice, thrice, again and again. So I will not be giving them any kind of credit, zero will be written. So you are supposed to do this test only once. So listen that task very, very carefully. You can have headphone or you can sit aloof so that there should not be any kind of disturbance. When you'll be able to listen it very, very carefully, you can listen it twice also. You can listen it twice also. Afterwards, you attempt a question answer. Okay, so today I have planned to make you revise poem, The Snake Prime. This poem is written by W.W.E. Ross. So in this poem, what does the poet want to say? Just to look at screen, I'm going to share with you. Snake Prime. See, imagine in your mind that any of a snake comes in front of us so afterwards, what will happen? Definitely, there'll be a great hustle bustle. We all will be in panic. We all will try our level best to save our life. Some of the people will come and they will try to kill that snake so that it cannot bring any harm to other person. Everybody will be worried for its own protection. Some would be worried for protection of children. So everybody would be in panic. It happens with everyone. It is natural. But here the poet's perspective, his viewpoint is quite different. So let's go through this poem. Then we will be able to understand what does the poet want to say. And afterwards, I will be giving you a list of value points. But try to understand actually the meaning of poem. And after that, try to understand the gist, what message is being conveyed by Poet. The snake trying to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curving of thin, long body. How beautiful and graceful are his shapes. He glides through the water away from the stalk or let him go over the water into the reeds to hide without hurt. Small and green, he is harmless even to children. Along the sand, he lay until observed and chased away. And now he vanishes in the ripples among the green slim leaves. So by single reading, very slowly, you will come to know that initially the poet is appreciating its physical beauty, about its movement, okay? That how beautiful it looks, how gracious it looks. He is appreciating about his movement, about its curve. But at the same time, he says that you just look at that snake very, very carefully. It is not causing, it is not bringing any harm to any of the person. Basically, it is a green snake, okay? It is a water snake. It is found in water and it is bringing no harm to anybody. Actually, it is not poisonous at all like other snakes. But people have this assumption in their mind that all snakes are poisonous. So that's why they get afraid, they come in panic and they become scared to see such kind of creatures. So here poet wants to convey any of the message. 
anybody can can tell me what is that message yes cover no Animal creature. So Kavarnur wants to say that all snakes are not poisoned. These this is only our assumption. That's why people get scared and they want to kill it. But he wants to say that the poet wants to convey a message. That all snakes are not poisonous. Any another message that you get from this poem? Any another idea? Any another central idea that you think it can be? Yes, Simran, you tell me better. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, according to me, in this poem, uh, the poet is uh, trying to convey a message that all snakes are not poisonous and he wants to say that all living beings have the right to live and he wants a peaceful relationship between human being and the snake he wants us to change our thinking about how we think that snakes are harmful and dangerous he tells us to keep this thing in our mind that uh, even those who are like this need not to be killed or attacked. All creatures of nature need to be treated in kind and sympathetic manner. Yes. It means without thinking, some people uh, run after it by having a stick or by having any weapon and they want to kill it. Without and see, see, that snake is not causing any harm. It has not brought any harm even to small children who are not able to protect themselves. Still, we become worried and we start beating that creature. So, we should be kind. It doesn't mean, see, uh, sometimes this snake, uh, sorry, sometimes this snake would harm us in order to protect itself. Because if we are hit hitting it, so definitely it will start hitting us. So, it can, you can say, harm us in order of, you can say, self-defense but not every time. So if it is harmless, if it is going on its way, it is not harming anyone. So why to kill such kind of creature? The point is also describing the beauty of life. I was thinking something some days ago, I think uh, two or three days, I saw one of the insect, very big one, like a bug, very big one. But, uh, you can say uh, it is not found everywhere, very rare. So when I saw in front of my bedroom, so I became so worried that it can bring any harm to anyone, small children also. So I hit it so badly and then... Huh? So I hit it so badly and now that thought is why because it was not causing any harm. I could pick it so kindly and uh, throw it outside, outside of my house. But uh, due to panic, due to panic, I hit it so hard and I dragged it away. It, it, I'm telling you, this, this happens with everyone. Because I thought it could fly also, it could go enter in anywhere, it could be hidden and it could it could hide anywhere. Yes. 
But and once at the one time also we don't feel sympathetic. We become so selfish and mean. We think about ourselves. We think about our loved ones that it should not uh, hit them. Okay, so we don't feel sympathetic for those creatures. This is a message I think created by conveyed by a poet that we should be kind and sympathetic towards these creatures also. We should not be so mean and selfish only thinking about ourselves because if this creature is not bringing any harm to us, why we are bringing harm to those creatures? No, no, it see, think. Because it is our mindset, all, all snakes are poisonous. But it is a very small snake or having green color. So it is not poisonous at all. Okay, now write down value points. Now write down value points of this poem. Snake is considered to be harmful. Snake is considered to be harmful, dangerous creature. Okay, snake is considered to be harmful and dangerous creature. Okay. Harmful, dangerous and terrifying creature. Six snake is considered considered to be very much harmful, very much dangerous and terrifying creature. This is all. This is perspective of uh, perspective of all people. Okay, but according to this poem, we come to know that poet's idea and perspective is quite and quite different. According to him, according to him, all snakes are not. Yes. All snakes are not harmful. Okay. It can cause harm. For self defense. It can cause harm for some uh, self defense. Sometime Both are, both are okay. Both are correct. Sometimes it is harmless. Harmless even to small children. Small children. So, but she write down all these value points, keep it aside. I told you yesterday also, whatever the work we are revising in class, you keep all these notes separate because during your exam preparation, you can go through these value points during your revision time. It will be very much beneficial for you. It will save your time. And at a glance, you will be able to recall whatever is discussed in class. Okay. So I'm giving you time to note down.
It it is it should never be practiced because uh, Hindi should not be translated because if you'll be doing such kind of practice, your communication skills will not improve. You try to think in English, then you'll yes, be able to converse in English. Bache, I'm also your teacher. I also go through all the things. It is not said only by Shashi Tharoor. It is said by so many people who are well versed in English that don't translate, don't follow the technique of translation. You think in English, then uh, explore your ideas in English. In this way, you will be a good writer and good uh, speaker. What happened? Why there is so much hustle bustle in your class? So return these points. See, these are the things given in form, but besides this, besides it, the poet has appreciated, the poet has appreciated its beauty, its grace and looks. I think uh, so many people don't find any beauty in such kind of creature, but he found that this kind of creature is so beautiful because he, he has appreciated its movement. You can add movement also. Its grace, looks, and movement also. The way he moves, the way he takes curves. So the, uh, the poet has appreciated its beauty, its grace, okay, its looks, and its movement. How does it take movement? How does it slither down, okay, in different, different bushes? So the poet has got time to appreciate, to admire its beauty, okay? And we can say the poet's idea, his outlook, his perspective is quite, quite different from others. And he wants to convey this message that this uh, kind of creature is a victim of itself. You think you're a student of nine class? It is a victim of itself. How it will be victim of itself? Yes, Ridima wants to say something. Yes, Ridima. Yes, ma'am. I think uh, he could be a victim of itself because of its uh, carvings on the body and the slippering tongue that he is having. <clears throat> And I think that uh, the movements of the snake make people more uh, more fear about him uh, to uh, make uh, to or or to kill him or to uh, uh, not uh, take as a uh, pet animal or a normal animal. And one thing more I want to tell you, Ben. Uh, other students also they were telling me same answer. Why are you using the word animal for snake? If you write down in ninth class animal word for a snake, I think examiner will not be impressed and uh, examiner will think that this student is of mediocre level. Yes. Mediocre, middle level. So no good marks will be given to you. 
बच्चे या राइट डाउन दिस क्रिएचर डोंट राइट डाउन एनिमल ओके अदरवाइज योर परस्पेक्टिव इज क्वाइट गुड धीरेन वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट टू से Yes, ma'am. And the snake, it's a victim of itself, as because of his identity. The creature is quite. Uh, the creature is known for being poisonous, and that is why when people see this creature, they think that it could be poisonous. Even though some snakes are not so poisonous, and some snakes even don't want to attack humans, as they only prey on uh, small creatures like uh, rats. So when people see these creatures, they think that they are poisonous, so they kill them. Yes, absolutely right. So whatever the explanation you have given, that is really praiseworthy. Now let's discuss about uh, some of the poetic device. First of all, find any rhyme scheme. Are you able to find any rhyme scheme? Free word. So this poem is written in. This poem has no rhyme scheme. Don't write on freestyle. It is free verse. So this poem is written in free verse because it has no rhyme scheme. Okay. Now tell me when you were going through this poem, when we were discussing about that poem, when we were having idea. Do you think that any of her image was reflected in your mind? Yes, yes, Who was being reflected in your mind throughout? Yes, yes. Which color snake? I'm green. So don't you think so? When we were discussing about that poem, when I was reading poem for you, so one of the image reflected in your mind. So which poetic device is used? Yes. Imagery. Imagery. Because when we were going, we go through this poem. so one of our image visual image is uh, created in our mind automatically so this poetic device imagery is found in this poem yes but you have to pick up any line that really gives you yes this poetic device is there you are able to find out so i am going to tell you one of a line yes to escape the pursuing stick with sudden curving of thin long body don't you think that snake is having thin and long body it is moving like that and one of the person is having a stick and it is going to pursue it it is going to chase it using its stick uh, using his stick okay so this is giving an effect of imagery okay and uh, yes and there is another line that he glides through the water away from the stroke this line also gives us images effect visual image okay now let's discuss about question answer you all should be ready with your answers first question we have is what is the snake trying to escape from but you elaborate this answer in your own words only dhiren is raising his hand uh, out of 22 participants from online what about other online students what is a snake trying to escape out of 21 student only 3 are raising in online offline so many okay so nitish you tell me this answer only one line answer will be writing if it is asked of two marks sahil as a man was trying to escape he was trying to escape 
yes the snake was trying to snake uh, save his life moreover he was afraid he was scared he was in panic so in order to that that's why he was you can say moving and he was uh, trying to protect itself from the hit of from the blow of that uh, stick now next question we have is is it harmful snake and what is its color tell it's me all no. is it harmful no. and what is its color green okay good okay now in this poem the poet's beauty sorry the poet has described the beauty of snake so which words are there that describe its beauty you pick up the words from poem okay graceful charming glides small and green so wings of thin long body yes thin long body very good yes graceful shapes yes so all these words are telling about its grace about its beauty now what does the poet wish for the snake ma'am it should go on her ripple is you can say the movement of a water current okay what question did i ask you what does the poet wish for the snake ma'am it should go on the snake hearted is not a word wear your mask no to harm the snake snake the poet yes. wishes that uh, not every uh, human uh, create any type of damage to the to this creature or uh, without any reason okay good next to uh, that he wants that to snake must be allowed to go unhurt because it is harmless even to children see it doesn't to bring any harm unless or until it is provoked if we will provoke it we will start hitting it definitely it will hit us in order of self defense in order to protect itself so that's why you can say it is harmless until or unless it is provoked and nobody should try to kill it because this green color snake are not poisonous at all am i clear with this okay now let next question we have is where was the snake before anyone saw it and chased it away and where does the snake disappear very important in the beginning where the snake was seen and at the last where has he gone so where was he seen in the snake in was in the reeds yes he was seen on it was lying unnoticed it was lying unnoticed and where in on sand so it was on sand found sand it was not noticed by someone but when it was being chased sorry it was being chased so it started moving it order in order to protect itself from the harm from the hit okay and where did it disappear he vanished in the ripples yes. it got disappeared in ripples it got disappeared in ripples and what are ripples you can say current or movement of water movement of the water water current yes water current okay so bachche now bell is about to ring but before that i just want to ask you uh, one more question 
what does the poet appeal to the readers i would be considered that child the most attentive child of my class who would be telling me this answer what is poet's appeal to children aditya I don't want to listen in Hindi. Daljeet, you tell me. Ma'am, don't panic in when the snakes or any creature is at front of you. Yes, ma'am. Don't bring chaos. The point appeals to the reader. Aditya has used word chaos. C H A O S. it means chaos means disorder disturbance okay so one not to create speak? chaos yes uh, carry on daljeet the poet is appealing to the reader that all, not all the snakes are ha uh, harmful the snakes try uh, the snakes harm anybody in order to uh, protect themselves from the attack of human beings when we will provoke the snake then it will um, naturally try to uh, protect itself not all the snakes are harmless um, small and green uh, snakes are not harmless not even to children not all the snakes are harmful so, yes ma'am not, all, not the all the snakes are harmless harmful and they are even harmless to children that they can't they that they can't even protect themselves and this much of i Ma'am, Ma can I speak? Spoken. That is good. So, Daljeet, I just want to ask you. Uh, you have participated after so many days. What happened to you? Why were you not participating? I was announcing your name in class. Huh? 